Good afternoon, welcome to today's press conference to preview our West Ham game in the Premier League tomorrow. The press conference will take place in its usual two-part format with the broadcast first and the daily newspaper section second. If you'd like a question today, please use the raise hand function on Zoom and we'll try and get round to as many as we can. We'll begin with Gary Cottrell from Sky Sports News. Gary, unmute yourself when you come onto the panel and away you go. Hello, Thomas. Hi. Sorry, I want to join there. Um, you might need both hands, both fingers from both hands for this question about your injury situation. Hmm. Um, what's the latest? Do you want a list or do you want to go through them one by one? I almost need a list, but uh, we um, did not train today with uh, Mateo Kovacic in Golo, um, Ben Chilwell, and and Trevor Chaloba, they're all out for tomorrow and everybody else is available. Okay, so that's a, that's a, first of all on those, that's a, that's a big blow, a worrying number of players out. Yeah, every player is a player too much, but of course there's a lot of, a lot of midfield players since, since uh, many, many days now, for many weeks for, for Kova, that we miss him, and also Angie. And uh, of course, uh, Ben Chilwell is a long one. This, this is what we know. And um, and for Trevor, we need more examinations to see how how bad the injury is. So for, for Timo and Jorginho and, and Rhys James, they're all available. They're available, yeah. And training and available. West Ham are, are in the top four at the moment. Is that where they deserve to be? Do you think is that a true reflection? They have almost been in the top four last season. They were fighting um, the whole season for, for these places. A very, very good team, very good coach and huge solidarity that they show. It's, um, it's always a joy to watch their games because they play with a lot of energy, a lot of uh, positivity in, 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 in what they are doing. They believe uh, they did not have too many changes, like the, you, they, they play as a team. And they do what they do good. They believe in themselves, and uh, that's why this everybody is there where he deserves to be. And um, in the moment, they are on fourth place. They play strong in, in European competitions. It's a tough, it's a tough match. It's a tough team to play against. Uh, but it's also tough to play against us. So it will be an exciting uh, Sunday afternoon, maybe and not even afternoon. A 12:30 match on Saturday. So. We're, we, we, we need to be on our top level to, to have a chance to win. But interestingly, listening to Ralph Ranwick's uh, opening news conference, um, interestingly as well, he says that he turned down the Chelsea job, he was offered a four-month deal in February. If that was the case, then you'd already been in the job for a couple of weeks, but I think he got the, the date wrong. Are you surprised yeah. that he was offered the job? <laughs> so maybe after our draw against Wolverhampton. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the maybe the bosses saw the draw against Wolverhampton and thought, no, he does not know what he's doing, so let's bring Ralph in for four months and take over. He must have the date wrong, uh, hopefully, let's say hopefully, and otherwise, well, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice job to have in world football to be the coach of Chelsea, so... You need to be realistic. Of course, there are some. There's no, if you get the phone call, you should be very aware that you're not the only one getting a phone call. And uh, now I'm here, and I'm happy. Thanks, Gary. John Southall, Five Live. Hello, Thomas. How are you? Hi. Good. Um, you say you, you're going to have to be at your top level, but how difficult is it? Do you think to be at your top level at this, you know, this part of the season? Obviously, you had a tough game the other night. You had Manchester United. You've got a lot of injuries. And now you've got a 12.30 kickoff. Yeah, it's always another challenge coming. Like you said, we had a very exciting week with Leicester, uh, then Juventus, then Man United. Big names, uh, big challenges, a lot of reward for good performances. Then there was Ballon d'Or uh, selection. Then there was suddenly a, a Wednesday evening game uh, against a, a, a strong and brave and encouraged Watford side who had nothing to lose. So, like a lot of distractions, a lot of different approaches to games, and yeah, from from Wednesday afternoon to to Saturday morning, is not uh, there is yeah simply no time to 
to uh, to to dream or to 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 lose focus you need to um, refocus straight away and uh, this is what we did we had already one meeting today in the morning we will have uh, another one in the evening to prepare our team because tomorrow is simply no time to do this um yeah it is tough it is uh, some we sometimes we we are we are we are fatigued and sometimes uh, it's it's stressful but this is what we want and this is what we love and uh, we are in the middle of it on we all um, Romelu Lukaku where, where do you assess where he's at at the moment so this performance is when he's come on and is this the time now to start it well I will not tell you because that's will this is a, 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 is a part of the lineup where, where I will want the opponents also to know very late who starts for us uh, he is in training. He wants to start. He's eager to start. Um, and and uh, like you asked uh, before, and now it's uh, uh, for the whole team. So how how difficult is it to reach always your top level? It's also individual. How difficult is it now for Romelu, and and for all the other guys who came come in after injuries to hit their um, top level? I I honestly don't know exactly. And uh, that's, but we should try always to to reach our top level, and maybe the top level is in every match different. Watford caused us a lot of problems, for example. So we needed to focus on uh, on not to uh, not to allow too many chances, too many big chances, and and to it was mere uh, uh, a mental game to hang in there and not get too frustrated, and still wait for the chances to be clinical and and uh, escape with a win. And um, tomorrow will be new questions. It's a completely new team. We are like we will have some changes again, and and from there we go. But uh, we believe in what we do, and we are uh, full of confidence. And uh, this is it's a tough one for the whole team and and for Romelu if he starts or comes from the bench. And just a final one on Ralph Ragnit. You spoke about him briefly there. Have you spoken to him since uh, he took the job? And and if you have, or maybe you haven't. Um, what advice would you give him about managing in the Premier League? No, I haven't spoken to him. If I spoke to him, uh, I would simply uh, um, tell him my congratulations, but, but no advice. Nobody needs advice and uh, nobody needs advice for me. I have enough to do to, to get our things going in, uh, in the right direction. And this is where the focus is. And uh, every situation is different. Everybody does it his own way. So he can uh, prove... He can prove himself now in in, in, a, in a in a very big club and in, in the biggest league. Hi Charlotte. Hi Thomas. Um, Hi. You spoke about obviously your lack of midfield options, and I knew you said after the game against Watford that you were thinking of playing Saul in that left wing back role. Um, is that something that you've worked on in training with him? And do you think that role might even suit him a little bit better than in midfield, given that he's still adapting to the Premier League? Yeah, he's still adapting and uh, he had a yellow card, an early yellow card and uh, was a bit shy to, to, to play f- all in in the duels um, and, and for that we lacked a bit of his physicality because he did not want to risk a, a red card which was a good thing on that evening not to be one man down. Uh, I think that he could play uh, in a, in a wing back role for us. Like even if we play like a, a, a dominant game and a, a, an offensive uh, game, because he's very strong in arriving in the opponent's box, he's very strong in finishing, and has a good timing to arrive also on second post with a head. We sometimes do this in training. That's why we have the impression that he he could maybe a, a good fit, and maybe next in the next games we we have to try it. Simply have to try it because uh, Chile is out long term and. Uh, and uh, a lot of games are coming and we can maybe not put every game on Marco's shoulders. And Hakim Ziyech, I interviewed him yesterday. He said he feels 100% fully fit again and he's hoping yeah. to start more games. He has been increasingly influential in recent weeks, hasn't he? Um, are you ready to start him in more matches, particularly where you've got so many games coming up? Yeah, always. I like him. He, I can feel it, that he feels better now. It took him a long time. Uh, he was always very ambitious with his shoulder injury, but I could feel that it's the 100% he could give are not the 100% of his top level. Now he feels much better and I can feel it. He smiles, he's happy, he's decisive. He had huge influence now from the bench against Leicester and, and um, in Watford. He had two matches in between, I think, from, from the start, Juventus and, and uh, Man United. 
he's in a good shape he's in uh, in good form in good state of mind and and um, we want him absolutely to be influential but i will not tell you if he starts tomorrow or comes from the bench the last question in the broadcast nick pure Hi Thomas, just on um, obviously having Reese, James and Jorginho available, um, how how pivotal is that given the other injuries you've got? It's massive, isn't it, to yeah. just sort of ease the load on the squad? Yeah, it's massive because uh, Reese is the specialist on, on the side and then and, and Shorshi is, is the guy left from, 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 from Kova, Engie and him from the three. On, on on whose shoulders we, we 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 put the central role like over 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 a very long period now. I'm absolutely happy that that Ruben steps in in the way he he does it. Um, but yeah, we we are happy that that Shorshi is back in training and we can't wait that that uh, Kova and Ng come back because it is a very important part of the not only of the season but but uh, in our in our in our in our games and it is uh, the midfield role where we where we miss uh, of course the experience and 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 uh, and the the leadership qualities of the guys who are out but for that it's it's good that they are back and listen we will never complain because we are here to find solutions and if uh, we miss players, other players will play and they have a contract here because they deserve and this is what we do and uh, we'll have a strong team on the, on the pitch on, on tomorrow and we had a strong team on, on the pitch against Watford and uh, we are used to have some changes in between and this is where we go. Okay, that's the end of the broadcast section.